What's up, YouTube friends, family, associates, and subscribers? Shade here, y'all. Um, I'm closing out this video. This was my tiny haul from the remodel. But you guys know, after I go to remodels, I also, um, well, a remodel, I will go to other Dollar Generals in that same area and do regular penny shopping. And that's what I did. So, um, I'm going to show you guys what I got. You know, I won't show you the UPCs for the remodel items because all you need is visuals. Um, I'm not sure why some people give you guys the UPC numbers because when you go to a remodel, you do not have time to pull up the app and scan like when you do regular penny shopping. People are grabbing items, they're throwing them all in garbage bag, and then they're scanning them later. You know what I mean? Like you just don't have time to sit there and be like, hmm, I saw Sade with this doll. Let me see what the UPC number is. Let me look at my phone really quick. Somebody gonna come up beside you. Excuse me. Throw it in their cart. Throw all of them in their cart. You just don't have time. So I don't understand the purpose of showing um, the UPC numbers. Maybe some people just don't know and just doing it, you know, out of um, uh, just being used to it. I couldn't think of the word. Familiar, uh, something, I don't know. Um, but you just need um visuals so if you go to a remodel you see this doll grab it okay um i think this is at a regular store these i got these from the remodel um these were the only gloves that penny there and i grabbed all they had which was only these three right here okay the padded palm the last remodel I was at, these did not penny, I don't believe. I think it was only the bright green ones and some other colors. So every remodel can be different too. It's like a your miles may vary situation. Why MMV? Um, and that's for the newbies that don't don't know the you know abbreviation and the couponing language and all of that stuff. Why MMV means your miles may vary. And us as um, vet veterans <laughs> have to remember that there's going to be newbies every day that's joining a group or joining your channel so even though we've already said it and may have repeated it many times or we just assume that everybody knows sometimes you just have to add that in your post like when you post something about dollar general make sure you add oh yeah this glitch worked but you have to make sure you have the dollar general app downloaded and you have to have this coupon clip such and such and such you know because some may have just joined the group today and never heard of a digital never heard of ymmv never heard of oop out of pocket you know what i mean because i remember when i first started um and they had groups and stuff then and those like abbreviations i'm like why does everybody keep saying oop oop <laughs> I guess that I'm like, is that some kind of slang? Like, okay, they got they total to be three dollars. Oop, <laughs> oop, my total is three dollars. Oop, my total is one dollar. I really thought that's what it was. I did not know OOP wasn't oop. It's out of pocket, you know. So there's just make sure you keep the newbies in mind, guys. That's all I wanted to say. Um, this was also from a remodel. These two hats. They were right near the um gloves right next to them actually i did not know i had two so forgive me father i only paid for one they were stuck together and i just saw that um before i started the video but it was only a penny and it's the same exact hat I, oh no it's not well i'm gonna have to pull up the app just to check because i hope i didn't steal something that was full price unintentionally but it was in there pretty good you know with the cardboard and everything they were stuck together and she rang up it rang it up one time at least i believe so i'll look at my receipt here in a minute and i remember that store so i'll type it in to see if that comes up a penny wow okay well um yeah those hats were from a remodel these gloves this doll these right here these little cups were um near the party stuff on the party aisle of course and these are little 24 party cups these were um, from the remodel. So remember, a remodel is different. It will not be a penny at your regular Dollar General unless that store recently remodeled and some of these items were left behind. Because they should still bring up a penny. Even if the remodel is over with and they've already done and remodeled the store, 
they still can have penny items left because I've went, you know, a week after a remodel and still found baby toys, um, other items that were a penny, you know, the Sunday before the store remodel, and they were still a penny that next week. Um, this one, um, yeah, that candle was from a remodel too. This perm, um, this wasn't from a remodel store as you guys saw where I got it from. But when I'm scanning it now and I put in, um, cause I was at a couple of my local stores today and when I scan it, it says $5. So I don't know if it was just a penny in that area or if that store recently, well, that store I think did recently remodel because I think I was showing you guys how clean it was and all of that stuff. So, um, maybe this was because the store remodeled. You guys let me know. I'm going to show you the UPC number and it's all open and stuff. It was already like that. Um, and you let me know if it comes up as a penny in your app. If it doesn't, then I'm assuming that that store was a remodel. But here's the full UPC number. If you just want to pause the video, if you're on your laptop, then you can get your phone and scan it from this on the screen. But the last four is 9103. If you guys do find it, and if it is a penny item, that should be at every store. <clears throat> but in the app right now, like I said, in my area, it's scanning $5 on the app. These socks definitely don't go with this pack, um, but these packs were laying around everywhere and these socks were there with no tag. Um, so yeah, you see what you see. And that's White Star. If you find any socks at any store with this label, the um, oh, that's what I read on the receipt, Varsity. I'm like, what is Varsity? Um, and it says Varsity Supply. Um, they should be a penny. There's the last four, 9036. This is at any store right here. Now I'm showing you guys all the penny items that should be at um, every store. These were a little nasty on the bottom. They don't look like they were worn, but it just looks like stuff was all over them. Because if they were worn, you would be able to tell. Um, it just looks like they were dirty. And the UPC number was in here, I believe. Yeah, the school. But she didn't even type it in. She was like, you know what, I'm going to just give them to you. And I think that was her first time seeing a remodel. She was like, um, oh yeah, duh. So that store was a remodel. I brain fart. Oh my God, tremendous brain fart. Because when I got to the register, the girl was like, oh my God, we just recently remodeled and you should have saw the stuff that these people were coming up here with. She was like so excited. I was like, yeah, girl, I know. She was like, no, it was like a lot of stuff, like big stuff, like clothes, shoes. And I was like, mm-hmm. And I was like, like comforters and um, shower curtains and home stuff, stuff like that too. She was like, yes, it was crazy. All of it was ringing up for one cent. <laughs> and I was just smirking because she was just so excited. It was so cute. So I guess that was a new cashier and she had never seen that before. I always love to see the cashier's faces when they're new and um, they've never seen stuff ring up for a penny. And I'm like the first <laughs> Um, at a few stores this has happened and it rings up because sometimes they'll think something wrong They'll tell me to wait a minute and go get the manager and I'm like, it's not wrong, but okay, I'll wait <laughs> And then the manager will come and let them know explain briefly. Oh, yeah, it's the penny It's discontinued item blah blah blah, which I think they should explain to them um, Beforehand, but you know how DG and many more companies are they'll just throw you in the register I've been a victim of that too not knowing what I'm doing I think that's why Maya had the line wrapped around the corner when we popped up at her job. Did y'all see that video? Girl, yes. I would no, put the camera on you, but she in there cooking shrimp. And what are you cooking? I'm cooking dip with shrimp in. Huh? I'm cooking dip with shrimp in. She's making dip with shrimp in it. So we'll see how this tastes. Mm. Um. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, here's this art skill thing. I don't know what this is. Poster tag, 24 squares, it says. You guys, I hate this polish. This is supposed to be the, some, what is this, paparazzi? It only lasts for one day. I don't know if it's because how much I'm washing my hands or what, but I cannot stand it. Um, last four is 3533. Remember, these are items that should be a penny at your store. I'm done with the remodel items. Um, these right here. Well, this is an NCI store, Pink Clover, okay? And we got two of those, the unicorn headbands right here. Found some Easter bubbles. This was on the toy aisle in the toy section. 
I believe my phone was charging at this particular store, so you guys couldn't see where I found this. Oh, and I got a picture um, as well to insert in a second. Um, I'm actually going to insert it right now. I found um, a lamb. Hold on, let me. Alani. I mean, not Alani. Where is that little lamb? The little stuffed animal lamb. Is it in there? Do you know where it is, Q? You got it? Okay. Q has it. So I found, um, I think, I don't know if it was before or after I found the bubbles. I think it was after I found the bubbles. I found a lamb. And it's so cute. And it was the Easter lamb. So here it is. So now look at the picture um, right here where I show you guys where I found it. Okay, so y'all just saw that picture. That was so cool, right? You see here how the other lamb looked identical to this, but the difference was that it had the Easter tag. And that's what I wanted to show you guys. Make sure you're um, paying attention very closely. Paying very close attention is what I meant to say. Um, got another scrunchie. Remember I said you can never have enough of these. What a house full of females. Um, this is Blue Dot. So remember Blue Dot um, from FW20. There's FW20 right there before the barcode. Fall and winter 2020 should be a penny. Gray and blue dot, okay? There's a gray dot right there. This vinyl tote bag that all of this stuff is sitting on. All right. And what does it say? I do not care. I do not care. So cute. So that's the um, gray dot as well. I was surprised to find um, a Valentine's Day item. I put this over here in the all store penny aisles because um, Valentine's Day should be a penny in any store right now, but I actually found this at the remodel. But even if that store wasn't remodeling, this would have been a penny because it's Valentine's Day, for goodness sake. And it was in the box with the socks. <laughs> How weird. Also, Christmas. Found some Christmas tissue here. That's originally a dollar, but we got it for a penny. There's the UPC, last four, seven, one, seven, nine. And this says it's from F17, okay? And remember, guys, just because you see something that's really old, even if it said F12, fall 2012, that does not mean it's a penny. Some items reset, especially if they have no problem selling those items, and they'll just, yeah, they'll pull them off the shelf that year or that next year, say it said F12. And now it's F. Um, now it's 2013, and um, it's after Christmas. Say it's 2000. Uh, yeah, 2013. Now it's Valentine's Day, and they pull the Christmas items. They put them on sale all the way up to 90% off, and whatever they don't have left, they box it up, put it back in the stock room. May ship it back, may not ship it back. But if they got it back in the stock room, and now it's come Christmas time again. Maybe I think they start putting out Christmas stuff in October, the same month that they put out Halloween or the same month of Halloween. They'll go back there and get these Christmas items right here, even though it's from 2012 and just try to resell them again and so on and so on um, because they actually sell. So um, a lot of people have a misconception about that. Oh, but it said 2011 and it wasn't a penny. That does not mean it's a penny, but you can Feel free to scan it with your DG app and make sure you have that store pull up. I tell you guys all the time, when you're walking up to the store or before you even get out of your car, go to settings, go to Wi-Fi, but sometimes it won't connect. It'll connect when I get closer to the door. After um, you click on Wi-Fi, the closer you get to the door, DG customer will pop up. And I think DG employee pops up first. So um, you click on DG customer connect to their Wi-Fi sometimes another box will come up that will say um, connect to internet and then you have to click done sometimes it doesn't pop up I just noticed this in certain stores it does oh gosh Maya would you like us to help you open the saucer do y'all hear her in there steady slapping that jar so after that you're connected to their Wi-Fi then go to the app and go to change address and change the address to the store you're um, currently in if you don't know the address, just type in the city. If you don't know that, then just ask somebody. But um, type in the city and it'll pull up a list of stores once you hit search. And the one that says 0, 0.0 miles away, that's the one you're going to click on because that's the store you're standing in. And now you're all set to scan. And I explained to you guys why it's important to do this. Because if I have the store pulled up um, and I went to the New York location, right? And I have that New York address in there. 123 New York Avenue, New York New York 
okay? And then I go to um, Birmingham, Alabama. I, I know that's like so far-fetched, but I'm just giving examples. Then I go to Birmingham, Alabama to Penny Shop. But I still have in the app the 123 New York Avenue store pulled up. And I scan this item right here. Because I just found this at the New York location for a penny, right? And I scanned this item at the um, Birmingham store. No, no, no. Okay, I just confused you guys. Okay, I have the New York <laughs> address in the app. We're starting over. I still have that address in my DG app, the New York store. And I go to Birmingham store now, to Penny Shop. Now, at the New York store, this came up $10, right? And so now I'm at the Birmingham store. Someone just posted that, oh, this was a penny in Birmingham, Alabama. Just an example. I scan it, but it says $10. It's like, what? Then somebody comes up right behind me and grab all of them off the shelf and go to the register and they rank up a penny. It's like, how did you get those for a penny? They just scanned $10 for me. That's because you didn't change the address to Birmingham, Alabama. It scanned $10 because this doll is $10 at the New York store. It indeed is still $10 at the New York store. It wasn't a penny at that store. So had you changed it to the Alabama address, it would have ring up a penny for you. But right now, we don't know if it's because Dollar General was on the news or not. Um, yes, I was the first to show you guys that video. Um, and it is better to watch mine and not the actual news clip, which people are posting that in a lot of videos or telling them to go to someone else's YouTube page to watch it. Um, I see a lot of you guys that watch me. <laughs> I see your names in the Facebook groups and or your pictures. Um, and you guys never know I'm in the darn group. Like my daughters are in the group, like we're all in the groups. And sometimes I just sit back and watch the comments. Um, but I see a lot of people are upset about that guy. I won't say his name. Going on the news about this. But lately I've seen um, it's been some problems with the penny items. I've heard a few different things. Um, we have had the app ringing up for 0, 0.00 before. Remember when everything on the dollar aisle um, was pennying out? It was showing 0.00. .00. But we got to the register and it was ringing up a penny. Only like a less than a handful of people were saying that it was ringing up 0.00, .00 for them, but ringing up full price at the register. Not many people, though. Most of the time, it still meant that it was a penny. Um, that's what happened to me today. I did um, get the ice cream and stuff like that. I'm going to show you guys that in the next video. But as of right now, um, a lot of the stuff is ringing up 0.00, .00 and not 0.01. .00. So um, just got a chance to go up to the register and see if it rings up a penny. So I'm not sure if it was because we we're on the news or not, but um, I'm just hoping that this does not stop because this helps a lot of people. Yes, I get a lot of different miscellaneous items, but a lot of people can um, find use for these. Like uh, a guy that's in a shelter with his family may need some socks for his new job or a hat or something like that to keep it out of the sun or gloves. And another little girl that loves unicorn could love these because my kids, of course, already have a lot of stuff from me penny shopping. So, um, there's no use to, you know, keep a bunch more. Okay. So anyway, um, I also got these underwear, but again, um, in my area, these are scanning at full price, but I did not get these at a remodel. I got these at a regular store, and they scan for a penny. So you guys let me know if they scan for a penny on your app before you even run out and try to find these. 5262. I know a lot of underwear um, with this design and this tag are a penny, but a lot of them are full price. So um, I don't know. It's not scanning a penny in my area, but where I was out of town, this um, did ring up a penny. And the last couple things um, was the root beer. I found one. This painted with the other, like, um, well, this, I thought this painted a while ago, but it's some Kool-Aid stuff and tuna items that painted last week. Here's the last four of the UPC, 6683. Mm -hmm. September 2021, that's when is it, uh, 2022 is when it expires. Yeah. Okay. And... The streamer. Last four, zero nine zero five. Found one of those. And this didn't have a tag, so they let me get it. Got many of those. Um, this bowl right here, she let me get this. Um, a lot of the shirts, these were on the top shelf, guys. All of these shirts, and all of them, if you find items, I have to um do another video um about 
what DG employees feel and say about us because I got some more juicy info for you guys. And a lot of people don't watch those videos. At the most, I may get like 500 and something views. Um, but it's really some vital information in those videos because it's coming from the employees and managers and DMs themselves. Okay. But you can also always find the UPC number in here. Okay. And you just type it in the app, just like you're going to scan um, a barcode. You pull up the scan thing and then you type, um, you press manually enter and then type in the number and press enter and then it'll come up one cent. So all of these items were one cent. So I believe these were all blue and gray dot clothes. <clears throat> this is the bottom of the shirt. You normally open the bottom. Same thing with pants or anything. Just look for this little um, white tag right there. Type it in and it should be a penny. So all of these clothes right here will be donated. Um, is it in here? I think y'all get the gist of things. I always say that word wrong. There it is again. They all start the same number. So all of those were a penny and then I got that little glass um, container right here for a penny, okay? And these are just items I paid full price for because me and Maya are going to play this. We played this at, um, oh no, was that on Easter day? Yeah, when we did the Easter egg hunt in the park. Me and Maya played this. We had the little mini um, uh, rackets. Yeah, thank you. That's the word I was thinking of. And I was tearing her butt up. So I bought this just for her to battle me, okay? And I am ready. I used to love this game when I was a kid. We used to call these little things birdies. I don't know if that's what they're still called. I have no idea. But yeah, that was full price, five bucks. And I bought that while I was penny shopping and a black ice air freshener. So that's it guys. Like I said, everything over here was from remodels. The doll, the hat, the gloves, and all the way over to the left. And it's, it's a banner down there too. Oh, and the rug. Oh, and Alani got everything on the rug. But here are all my receipts. Um, see, there's the smart perm relaxer. And remember guys, I always tell you if anyone, including myself, ever forget to give you the UPC number, it is always on the receipt under the item before the dash. See, 9103, you see that? And 9103, the last four, okay? So that ring up a penny with no problem. And I always show you guys the date. That was May um, the 16th, 2021. That was Sunday and it's now Tuesday night. Um, just so you guys know that I'm not, and I'm not accusing anybody of doing this. Let me, so for y'all think I'm shady. Just letting you guys know I'm not just throwing a whole bunch of stuff together and showing you old receipts just to put a video out there. I'm showing you that I actually do go out and do this work in um, Penny Shop. Here's the root beer. Um, there's the varsity um, socks right there. And the keychain. I didn't show y'all that, but it's down there. That little ugly, big, bug eyed keychain right there. Um, the little piece broke off somewhere. And then I also got a little pin. And I'm not going to tell y'all what that looks like. Y'all know. But um, that was a total of three cents right there for three items. That was May 16, 2021, as well. And here's the art skills poster. What is that art skills poster? I thought I saw something that said art skills. I'm always missing stuff, guys, um, in my haul, and I have no idea. That's what that is. No. Oh. Um. There's the vinyl pouch, the second item there, and that's the little donuts right there. I do not care. Pearl scrunchie. That's the little blue dot scrunchie. There's the streamer. That one right there. And it's some items missing here, nail files, as you can see, but I had a total of nine cent worth of items. And of course, Florida was petty enough to charge me one cent tax. Um, so I paid a total of 10 cent out of pocket for nine items on May 16, 2021. Um, I forgot to show you guys this, the plates, the emoji plates. I'm not sure if this was from a remodel or a regular store, but the last four is 1044. I believe it was from a regular store though. And you guys may see them on the receipt because I'm just glancing over it. Um, NCI gold top. I believe these were the shirts and everything that I, yeah, because there it says black shorts. 
all the stuff that I just showed you guys right there. Um, Easter plush. That's the little lamb. One cent. Peeps. Easter peeps bubble. Remember, guys. Stuff can blend in with the regular toys and stuff. This was next to like some Spider-Man bubbles and everything. But I saw the bunnies and I'm like, that looks like it's from Easter. And here it is made, guys. So, you know that these are a penny. Yes, it takes a while for stuff to penny because it'll go on clearance first. Like right now, Mother's Day items are 70% off. Um, so, I don't know if they're going to penny. We don't know if they're going to change anything right now. We don't know if they're going to pull it right after 70% off and maybe see what they sell for about a week. Or if it's going to go to 90% off and then go to a penny. I'm not sure, but I'm hoping it does. Because I always find the Mother's Day socks for a penny. So, let's just keep our fingers crossed, you guys, that nothing changes. Um, there's the little ugly ice cream pin right there. Remember, all these PC numbers are on the receipt. My subtotal is $0.11. Cent. Yes, they were paid enough again to charge me $0.01 cent tax. So, I paid a total of $0.12 cent out of pocket for 11 items. And that was also May 16th. I know you could barely see it, but... It was May 16th. And you guys know I fold it like that because um, I told you guys a lot of people don't know. Um, next to the date down there, it's still the same thing. It's the store information. So people fold the top to hide the store's information, but they're not folding that part. I think I'm the only one that does that too. You're still showing the same thing. And maybe I shouldn't have said that because probably no one knew. <laughs> But yeah, so if anybody wanted to, they could just type that in and Google it and know exactly what store you're at. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. So I was really happy about this. And the tag is off, guys, because someone already ripped the tag off and gave it to baby Sarai. So she's been playing with that. Um, so yeah, but that was a good find for me. This and, you know, baby Soleil, even though she's four, I still call her baby Soleil. She loves bubbles. Um, I think any kid does, but especially like, um, autistic kids and kids with Asperger's, she likes playing in water and she likes bubbles. So she goes through these in a day. So I was happy to find that. Um, and sorry guys for my rant, you know, um, I was just telling you guys how I really felt and the things I observed. So if you guys got offended by that, I'm sorry, just fast forward it. If you don't like to hear my rant. Um, but I like to share a lot of stuff with you guys, what I see, what I hear as it happened. You know what I mean? So you guys can know me more. So, um, thank you to the people that's been genuinely nice to me. Um, yes, that was a scary thing, uh, about the person that I felt like was following me. I'm not going to go back in too deep with it. Cause I did talk about it during my video. Um, she did, um, message me back on Instagram and she said, I actually made her feel uneasy and um like i was just coming off rude or something but uh, i'm gonna just leave that there okay guys I'm, I'm gonna really leave that there um so i hope you guys have a good one i'm gonna come and show you my um little haul and the glitch deal um hopefully tonight after this um if not you guys will see it tomorrow but it depends on youtube and all these other apps to see how long it takes for them to get my video together all right, all of my kids are crowding me right now, except for Sarai. She's sleeping, so I guess they're waiting on something. So please subscribe if you haven't already. Please give the video a thumbs up, meaning like it. Please give it a thumbs down. If you don't like it, just give me some type of feedback to let me know how I'm doing. Please tell a friend to tell a friend about Sade with the receipts. And please share, 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 share if you dare, daddy. honey. Maya, Maya thought she was too good to say it, but it's okay um yes toodles and i love you all thank you so much for the support and please 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 um follow me on yeah subscribe <laughs> and follow me on instagram and join my facebook group please and make sure you answer all three questions if you join the facebook group otherwise you um the moderators will not accept you okay thank you toodles, toodles.